everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and we're here with Amy at the big LG G2 event. Finally, the LG G2 is for us to see for real. No more leaks, no more anything. This is the real deal. Let's take a look at it. So we have the LG G2 here that we just unveiled here in New York City today, August the 7th. We're very proud of this device. It's a beautiful 5.2 inch full HD display with our IPS technology. It's a 3000 milliamp long lasting battery. What you're going to notice first off by picking up this handset is that this, the bezel is very, very slim and there's no buttons on the side. So where are the buttons? The buttons are back here on the back. This is our nice new rear key, um, rear, key, rear key design, and as you can see here, we've got our volume rocker here and here for volume up and down, and our power button. So when the user typically handles their phone, their hand rests right here on the back of the device, so their hand is naturally right here on the back. So it's a very nice ergonomic design that can be used either with your right hand or your left hand. So there's no more fumbling for your volume buttons here on the side or your power button. It's right here where your hand naturally lies. So there's also a few little shortcuts here. So by pressing long on the volume up, you're able to access one of our features called Quick Memo. And by long pressing down, you have access to your camera immediately. So it's a nice design. And like I said, you can see it's a nice slim bezel design. So we are using the Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processor with this device. Uh, it's a quad core and it's clocking at 2.26 uh, per core. So it's a very nice, fast, snappy design. One of the things that we were pointing out earlier is our camera design. So we have a display over there that will show how that you can use our OIS technology. So if you're in a situation where you're walking, it gives you a nice, clear, stable picture so that you have still nice, sharp pictures and uh, smooth uh, videos when you're recording with the OIS technology. And it's the first of its kind out with a 13 megapixel. So it's a very nice feature for us here at LG, um, 13 megapixel with OIS. Some of the other features that we've added to this device for the user, and like James said, we're learning from you. So what we've done is we've made it accessible so you can use this feature called Slide Aside. It gives you the option to open up three applications at a time and move those to the side with a three finger slide for later use. These remain, I'm sorry, I just worked with that. So I'm going to come out of that. Sorry about that. So with a three finger touch, slide those applications to the side and you can come back to them later. So what's nice about this, because of the, uh, the ability with the quad core processor, I now have three apps here waiting for me to open back up. They do remain active, so that way if you have to come back into those very quickly, they're docked already, and you can open those up individually and come back and forth to those. Very cool. Which is very nice. So if you pair that with our QSlide 2.0 feature, you can have virtually six applications running at a time. So I have my three active slide asides here, and then also with my drop down menu, I have the QSlide 2.0. So in essence, I can have the three slide aside applications. I can open up my messaging with the QSlide. I can adjust the opacity here. And then even move this down and open up even more applications there on my home screen. I can edit the size and shape of these. So if you notice, I've got two slide aside apps running. I've got two here, and then I can still use my phone there in the background. Like I said, you can adjust the transparency up and down so that you can still see what's going on behind your phone. Fantastic. So that's a great little device. So like, like we said, we like to see what our users want to do with their phones, and it's all about making your life a lot easier and being able to do the things that you want to do in a timely manner in a very nice, easy way. Great. And there's a couple other things about the phone, like you can answer your calls with oh, a quick yeah. knock. Yes. So I know we're not going to simulate a phone call right now, or, or, or can you? We can't, right? <laughs> um, we can. There's an, Actually, these are not activated. We don't have phone numbers. Oh, you're right doing now. a video. Okay. Yeah, this is just a quick video on this. But there's a feature called knock on. So if you notice, a quick tap on the screen dims the screen. Quick tap back on, it turns it right back on. So in the event that your phone is laying down and it's turned on, you need to check a quick text message. Sorry, we've got these set to where they go to automatic videos. So there's a quick text message, you need to read it. Yep. Instead of having to actually pick up your phone and turn it back on, you simply just double tap the screen and it comes back on. Okay. So it's a 
great little enhancement. There's also a feature called Answer Me, and like you said, we can't. I think do that's a demonstration what I was saying. Here. Wrong answer. Yeah. Yeah. Answer I, Me. I mixed them up. What Go that ahead. does is it uses our, our technology for the gyroscope technology. So as your phone rings, you lift it to your head. Yeah. With the gyroscope, it, it's pulling towards your face, so it knows that it's being lifted up. It'll lower the ring volume because it knows that you're about to answer it. And then with the um, with the proximity sensor, we'll actually answer the phone call for you. Okay. So that's a nice little feature. So if you're you know quick in a hurry trying to grab the phone, answer the phone. So that says you bring it closer to your ear, though, not just like pulling it out of your pocket Correct. and looking at it. No. Okay. So you have to pull it, bring it to your you ear. You have to bring it to your ear. And so, like I said, whenever you get closer to the the notification, you're able to pull that up, and then it recognizes that it's close to your face with the proximity sensor. And just tell us quickly about TextLink as well. TextLink is a great. How that feature. works? I wasn't sure I even understood that. Okay. So, say for example, you receive a text message. There's none here in this device. Um, we do have a station yep. over there for that. So, say for example, you receive a text message that says, "Hey, meet me at 10 p.m. at 544 Bowery Street." A link box will pop up at the bottom of your text message here. I wish I could give you a, a good example of it, but at the bottom right-hand corner, you'll see a little link, and it'll give you it'll give you the option to tap that link, and it'll bring you either to your calendar to set the event for the time, because it notices that there's a time in there. Your memo. Or your, bra or your navigation so that it can navigate you to that address. Okay. So it's nice and quick. Um, and if you want to video that, yep. I can give you some B-roll right, for we that. Can, we can do that. We, we'll go right into that. Okay. So that's the nice little feature about the text link. Um, plug and pop is a, uh, is a way that you can, whenever you plug your device in, it recognizes whether it's an earphone or a USB cable, and it'll appear instantly at the bottom of your home screen. So it gives you the option to, like whenever you plug it in to listen to your music, you can customize that. So if you want to go straight to your Pandora or to your native music, um, you can do that just by recognizing something being plugged into the, um, the USB port or into your, um, your speaker. All right. Your speaker. Great. Let's take a look at over at TextLink. All right. Let's go take a look. All right. Now here's the uh, TextLink. We have Crystal here to show us. So what we're showing off here is TextLink. So whenever you receive a text message, and it doesn't matter what type of information you have on there. So for instance, right here we have a meeting, 11 o'clock today here at the Jazz Hall. So if we tap the message, it's going to automatically give us those options that the phone is actually anticipating what we're going to do. So there's a there's a time and a date in there, so it's going to allow me to add it to my calendar. I can also go into my browse the web and then also do a memo. So if I go in and tap the calendar, it's going to automatically enter in that calendar entry directly in there, and I can save it. So depending upon what, what type of information you have, so if you have a person's name or a phone number, it'll get you to their contact. So you can go in and save a new contact, look them up in your, in your contact list as well. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. And that's the LG G2. <laughs>